Well, if you go anywhere these days, you can't miss it. The hearts, the roses, you know, all those Valentine's Day gifts out there. Well, if you don't have a date yet, maybe you need a little help with a great gift that won't break your bank. Don't worry this morning. We have a little bit of advice and help for you. And Stephanie Saffron from Steph and the City joins us now to really get us ready for this day of love, if you will. So you have some tips, too, if folks out there don't have a date yet. Well, this is a great weekend, first of all, because uh, it's the Super Bowl. So go to a Super Bowl party. It's a great way to meet men, especially for women, and you don't have to uh, worry about whether you know what a touchdown is. Yeah, coming up next weekend, you're absolutely right. Kind of go there, scope out who's in the audience, if you will, at the party or what have you. So that's a great idea. And, you know, you need to get out of your comfort zone. So you need to really connect. So when you do go over there, please put that iPhone away. That's something people need to do on a day-to-day -day basis where they are paying attention to people that are in front of them and not, you know, constantly looking down. That's where all these misconnections are really happening. And there are some cute guys and girls out there that you don't want to miss their smile and that opportunity. Okay. I've had girlfriends specifically get extremely annoyed that a guy, they'll meet a guy and then the guy texts them like a couple of days later. And it's more like, what's the deal with the text? Why, why do guys do that? I, guys are probably out there saying, and girls do it too, but you're saying, don't text. No, I, we do not believe, at Staff in the City, we do not believe you should text for at least three weeks because we want you to get into the habit of calling people to schedule a date. There's nothing more annoying than getting something and then you text back and forth, then someone disappears for three hours, and instead of just sitting with your girlfriends analyzing those answer machines, now everyone's analyzing the text and how long it took. Right. What does this mean? They, he didn't text back right away or what happened? There's one line. It's not a, a whole sentence anymore. Right. Too much drama <laughs> with all that texting stuff. All right, so Super Bowl party, network, and also pick up the phone and make a phone call every now and then. So once you have your date, you have some gift ideas that are less than $50 too, right? Absolutely. We, you know, we decided that you know, our couples need to have some great ideas that won't break the bank and that are affordable and a little bit more creative than just getting the everyday roses. Okay, so what do you have here? What's starting over here? We have these hidden message collar stays where you can kind of put a, um, you can put a collar stay in with a little sweet message so when your guy takes it out, he can kind of see a little what you might be thinking for later on. All right, what do some of them say? Do I dare read them out loud? Oh, some of them are really cute, like uh, um, I, let's see. Uh, counting the hours. Counting the hours. So little love notes, basically, in a collar stays. A surprise waiting. Okay. What's this right here? Candles? These Candle are the set? Year of Love candles. And um, basically, you can take, they're supposed to be like a monthly, you just, you know, a, a tradition that you start. So that you kind of, you know, a lot of people are into candles and the relaxation it brings on. So this you have for the entire year to try a different one every month. All right. My husband would say, mm, ambiance. Like, yes, Absolutely. Is a good thing. But if you're not maybe into the candle thing, how about food? Food's always a good option. Chocolate dipped strawberries. No, nobody complains about, about having something that looks really yummy. And these particularly are obviously dressed and ready for Valentine's Day. I know. And they smell delicious, too. <laughs> All right. Moving on over here. This looks like a kind of a bath set, if you will. That's the chocolate lover's therapy. And so that basically kind of a bath. But if, you, if you're, you know, into chocolate... Um, you know, kind of, again, more ambiance. So what is it? Is it chocolate, uh, well, they have chocolate like, lotion, basically? They have chocolate lotions and bubble bath and, um, yeah, and that's like a scrub. Oh, interesting. Okay, very so good. So you'll, you'll smell edible. Yeah, you could definitely smell it. Even so, I can't tell if it's this I'm smelling or that. Something's very chocolatey. Both of them are really good. All right. And last but not least, this is very creative, I think. Name a star. So I think it's pretty romantic to name a star. That's a long-term gift that you can give to someone, and no one else is going to have that. All right. Interesting ideas. Thank you very much, Stephanie. Takeaway. No texting, guys. Don't text that girl out there. All right. Well, we've posted all of Stephanie's tips and gift ideas along with all of her information on our website. So all you have to do is go to abc7chicago.com. Be sure to click on See It on TV.